Hello my beautiful Virgos and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, prophet, test. So welcome my loves. Those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're, if you're, if you've been with me for the past year, welcome back my loves. I love all y'all. Um, ooh, look at that achievement. You guys are about to achieve something very big. Look at this innocence too. 43 and 42 as I split the deck, you guys, and I'm shuffling. Wow. Innocence. I just heard rediscovering your innocence, your, your innocence, rediscovering your innocence. That's what this is. Lord Ganesh showing up hot for you guys. Something about eyes is big here, you guys. You got a lot of eyes on you, maybe people watching you. I just did Aries and that's how their reading started out was a lot of like, you know, people just eyes on them or you could feel like a lot of eyes are on you. Okay. You could feel that way. Um, maybe it's making you feel a certain type of way, like pressured or, you know, um, spirits reminding you, my loves that you don't have to impress anyone. You don't have to try to right? like you do you boo you do you that's what i'm getting so you have seven and six showing up that's a 13 and then you have revelation purple and gold your royalty for some of you guys you're ancient like you your royalty your past lives you've been royalty all right you you have and um spirit what i'm getting here is that for some of you guys your spirit guides are really trying to get you to see who you are, remember your power, your magic, your essence. Because for me, it's like, this is Lord Ganesh, this is spirit, and they're looking down. And I feel like this is like you, like they're trying to get you to see, like you're in here, like your magic, your light, all of it. That's just what I'm getting. Steadfastness, yeah, some things are coming in uh, very quickly. Look at achievement though, you guys, right here in the middle, there's two women and then Lord Ganesh. There's a third party situation for some of you guys that you, um, you, what I'm getting is maybe you found out about a third party or you disconnected yourself from a third party because you found out about it. So that's gonna be for some, okay? I'm just channeling everything that comes through right now, right guys? Um, I'm a channel, so I don't read the card. I mean, I do read cards, but I don't read the cards. Like, I don't need, that's what I mean. Like, I don't need them. Um, so I channel the energy behind everything that, that comes through. Someone could be making a choice between two lovers here. That's what I'm getting. Because I am seeing the lovers card. And the lovers is a choice. Yeah, there's some kind of choice. Personal transformation, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's, it's a 35. So I have 43, 42, 15. So I have, these all break down to a seven, a six, another six, and then an eight. These could be life path numbers or birth dates, okay? All right. I just heard September 8th. September 8th. That could be your birthday, September 8th. August 29th. January 23rd. I just heard November 11th, 11, 11, Scorpio. So these are all the, the birth dates. So, you know, cause you could be a Virgo moon. You know what I mean? I don't know when your birthday is, right? Just cause you're Virgo doesn't mean anything or it could be your person's birthday or someone very close to you, but I'm hearing you. These are gonna be important dates for you too, you guys, for a lot of you. 39, acceptance, splendor, personal transformation. Virgos, you guys are going through a massive transformation at this time and spirits going, please listen to us. Please listen to us. We're trying to guide you. We're trying to show you. They're really trying to get you to connect to your higher self, like uh, quieting the mind, cutting out, you know, uh, noisy energy, loud energy, people who pull on your energy. This keeps coming through for me, for my, for my collective. So I just shared this very similar energy to Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or connected to an Aries Virgo, or maybe you're an Aries sun and a Virgo rising. I don't know, but Aries is coming through hot. Aries is also divine masculine energy. So for some of you guys, you've gone through a personal transformation, maybe pulled away from a third party, or you just went through some type of an ending. Surrender, yeah, you had to surrender. 
and persevere your energy and sustenance you had to go within you had to start loving yourself capacity to love protection you know virgos what i'm getting here is for many of you guys watching this you've been very protective of yourselves too protective spirit says too protective you've been too protective you've been blocking things out that um were good for you you know and uh it's because of fear it's because of of pain and hurt and trauma and all the things right so i feel like that's what this is spirit's going it's time to wake back up it's time to fully embrace who you are remember who you are we don't play small we don't accept crumbs we don't right all of that um some of you guys maybe you maybe your doctor said you know recently you need to change your diet otherwise this right and you're like stubborn you're an earth sign. Maybe you're stubborn, okay? Or maybe, um, yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Some of you guys need to change your diet. You need to really, uh, you know, take care of your temple, your physical health and wealth, okay? Yeah, relaxation, exactly. So I'm spot on with that one, you guys. Spirit's trying to really get you to understand that. Again, with the eyes showing up. They want you to spend time relaxing. I'm hearing take a vacation. If you can't take a vacation, take a staycation, right? Do something nice for yourself. So it's time for relaxation. We are in the new moon energies, you guys. And she's literally, uh, or, you know, Lord Ganesh is literally, um, <laughs> I'm going to say she or he the whole time, okay? It doesn't matter. There is no gender with these gods, right? Look at prosperity. Spirit wants you to know that you need to take more time for yourself in order for this prosperity and abundance to come through. For some of you guys, like I said, there might be some blocks where you're blocking it yourself. I don't know. But that's what I feel like it is. I feel like energy-wise, if that's if that's what this is for some of you guys, you just need to spend some time relaxing outdoors. Soak up this new moon. Use this new moon to manifest new intentions, new beginnings. New moon, new me, right? New moon, new me. Right as I say that and look up, you guys, we have 7-7 seven, seven on the timestamp. Enlightenment, see? You're receiving enlightenment at this time. But you've been extremely brought back. You've been brought back online. You've been you've been awoken. You've been enlightened, okay? Lord Ganesh is coming through and they're saying, right? It's like it's like we see you. We know it hasn't been easy, right? Enlightenment, the, the journey of enlightenment is not easy. It's very beautiful and there's very beautiful moments, right? Miraculous moments even, right? Constantly. But it 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 has its it has its moments of dark. We need it. It's balance. You can't have light without dark. You can't have dark without light, right? So you're you're learning to balance both of your all your energies, your light, your dark, your masculine, your feminine. Um, I do feel that like things have kind of felt like all over the place, but again, we have a lot of purple and gold here. You know, and that for some reason of all the cards keeps drawing me back in. It really does. You're about to achieve really beautiful things, you guys, because you have bloodline. For some of you guys, you have royal bloodlines. You guys are chosen ones. Your ancestors are literally going, hey, by the way, now that you're waking back up, we've got some really juicy uh, abundance coming in for you, okay? Because they wanted to know that you were going to stick to your divine path. They wanted to know that you were going to rise up, that you weren't right. That you could be trusted. You're the generational curse breaker, my loves. And because of that, because of all of this stuff, Lord Ganesh, right? The Lord Ganesh, the the, the God of you know prosperity and, and 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 luck and good fortune, abundance, right? Is saying you have a wish fulfillment, wish fulfillments on your way. You are moving to calm waters in your life. That's what this is right here. Okay. For my beautiful Virgos, let's just see real quick. I started with Lord Ganesh. Uh, for this new moon and for Lionsgate, Spirit had me blend both Moonology Oracle decks together, you guys. And I'm really digging the energy. I really like it. <gasps> Be bold to make the first move. Aries just got this in their reading. I'm telling you, you guys should go watch it after this. It doesn't matter if you have Aries in your chart. You don't have Aries in your chart. If your person has Aries, it doesn't matter. Right, as I say Aries, I'm talking about Aries and Aries comes out, you guys. See, definitely a lot of you guys are dealing with a fire sign or Aries. This is also, you know, Aries is uh, ruled by Mars. Aries is uh, in the tarot, it's the emperor. You know, the emperor is ruled by Aries. I'm seeing the eight of wands. I feel like there's so much abundance flying in. 
I feel like for some of you guys, you recently did clear a huge energetic block. Spirit, show me the justice scales of karma. It's like you, you cleared a bunch of past life karma. And that's why you're getting these fulfillments now. Yeah, you did a lot of inner reflection. Yeah. Now you're gonna now you're gonna experience the joy, the the repercussions, the aftermath, right? Of your beautiful expansion, of your release, of your purge, of your you know what I mean? Yep. What you guys did here is you I told ya. Look at that. You had to learn to love yourself first. You had to learn, you know, for me, oftentimes the you know the the lovers it's a choice in love. It's a decision being made in love. So again, maybe you made a choice to walk away from a third party situation. You found something out and you were like, oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Um, yeah, I am seeing here that someone is recently they've sabotaged something uh, in love or romance or maybe they recently did this. We have a king of swords showing up. This is someone who's been kind of cold and detached. And then we have nightmares. Someone's having trouble sleeping, being woken up. I'm hearing anxiety riddled. Some people can't sleep right now. Maybe this is you, your person. It's like you can't sleep because you're you, you're overwhelmed with like anxiety, anxious. I'm hearing outcomes. Some of you guys are not sleeping because you're too attached to outcomes. You have five five here. Clarify, clarify this five of wands and this five of swords. This is inner turmoil, confusion, arguing, fighting, disconnects, not getting along. It's like you want to like figure something out with people or someone, but you can't. You just can't. Someone's walking away. Someone sabotaged something. Someone's walking away. Happily ever after and then the king of coins. Look at that. King of wealth, money abundance this is the king of stability though okay this is the one you marry this is the one that comes in and, and is like this is the real deal okay he brings in the golden coin the offer the golden ticket right happily ever after happens here that's what this is okay so we have two kings we have one who's made you feel like this and now we have one that's coming in and that feels it's like this this energy attached the king of the king of coins is your match because you're either the king of pentacles or you're the queen of pentacles here but um, either way, you're the right. You're 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 the Earth sign. You're the you're the Virgo. So I'm getting Queen of Pentacles. Your person is your match. There's a match coming in for you, my loves. Okay, for some of you guys, you're gonna be meeting the one, right? Look at you have ten, ten. Look, ten of cups. This for me is everything. You get everything, wealth, abundance. Uh, uh, you know, equal give and take, love, emotional fulfillment. This is like. Seriously, like this is walking on clouds, walking on sunshine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And don't feel good. Mm -mm, right? That's you, my loves. Why is Virgo walking on sunshine? There's Archangel Raphael showing up, Archangel of Air. Funny too, it came out with the air sign, King of Swords, and the end here. Yeah, some of you guys, it's like get out of your head over love. King of Swords, cut someone out. I'm hearing RJ, RJ, like Rick James. Someone's name could be Rick or James. Now I'm hearing uh, Rick James and Tina Marie, fire and desire, fire and desire. Yeah, fire and desire, wow. Tower. You guys are gonna be shocked. The divine is sending you in someone. Now this could be someone from the past twin flame possibly who you had to cut out or they cut you out and left you feeling like this and they show back up like this he's showing up like crazy every reading I do knight of pentacles he won't go away <laughs> he's every reading every reading just about you know he shows up so yeah, so so for me right now, the energy of the Knight of Pentacles is someone from the past who's leveled up to the King of Pentacles, period. They were dragging their heels possibly, right? Or just 
they've taken a very long time to present themselves. So again, this could be a past life soulmate or a twin flame, someone that you've met in this lifetime. Or here's the real shocker. Here's the real shocker. This is someone you've never met. But you've, for some of you guys, you've been holding space. You, you've been inner knowing going, there's someone, you know, that I meant for. I know it. I feel it. I've, you know, I've seen it. For some of you guys, you've seen it. The timelines. Maybe you haven't seen this person's face or the, right? For some of you guys, you have. You dreamt of your person a long time ago. But for some, you, you, you haven't seen the face or anything, but you know that there's an energy. You can feel it. And that's the higher selves. You know what I mean? That's the higher selves. But this is definitely the archangel of love, air, you know, um, often associated to the heart chakra. We have the sun coming out, Leo energy. We're in Leo season, your sister sign, another sister sign. I mean, I'm sorry, not another sister sign, um, Sagittarius. I was thinking of Aries right now in fire. But this right here is a sister because Leo is quite literally next to you, right? We have Leo season and then Virgo and then, right, Libra. So... This is something being shown to you. You're about to be walking on sunshine. Didn't I just get done singing that? I said, walking on sunshine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And don't it feel good, right? There it is. There you guys are. You're walking on sunshine. Things are being revealed to you, shown to you. And also there's a big reveal. Either a lover from the past who you've been in separation from or this new person. Either way for me, this is the one. The lovers, this is your person. This is joy, bliss, contentment. It's your equal inner child here. You feel very safe with this person. For some of you guys, you've had a very wounded childhood. Your inner child is so broken, so broken. That's why we had that card earlier too, like the, you know, like this nurturing, take care of yourself. But your inner child is like gonna feel real good with this person, you guys. Yeah, this is the one. So either this person has, right, like changed or, yeah, see, because you're, you're showing up here. Divine Feminine is showing up. This is pregnancy, new abundant cycles, fertility, harvest, Venus. Someone's name could be Venus. You could be a Virgo, a Venus Virgo. I don't know. Venus. Men are from Mars, women are, women are from Venus. That's what I'm hearing. You know, for a lot of you guys, you, you felt like like people that been, have been coming into your life, like, you know, romantically, it's like they feel like you, it's like we're from two different worlds. It's no, it's not going to work, you know. I feel like that energy and, and you guys are literally being blessed with the one. Spirit says, keep your faith. Okay, keep your faith. This was always about divine timing. Okay, this was always about divine timing. Um you're getting ready to alchemize with someone here. And for some, this is someone from the past. They want to kiss and make up. They want to kiss and make up. Okay, for some of you guys, there is about to be an announcement of a birth or a pregnancy, excuse me. Um, death showing up, or as I'm talking about birth, chariot showing up, keeping that. Someone is coming fast, full, fully like into your life very quickly, okay? Here you are, Virgo. Hermit showing up. You guys have been in a hermit energy. Maybe you're feeling in a hermit energy now. What I'm hearing right now is, you know, it, go out and take a drive. Get out. Go go drive under the sunset. Go, you know, listen to some music. Or I don't know. I'm just kind of getting that for some of you guys. Get out of your house. Get out of hermit mode and go, go, go sit under the stars or go for a drive. Or I don't know. But this is about you guys moving forward. You guys claim you guys have victory here. There's a rebirth and a new beginning. You're showing up now. You're the Empress. You're the Empress. Birthing beautiful cycles. You're in receiving mode. Okay? So this is about receiving. What is Virgo about to receive? Two of Swords, and then look at. What you're about to receive is a huge breakthrough. Divine communication, clarity, truth, all kinds of things. See, you guys have been here for a while. You've been blocking people out, blocking things out, or maybe you've been blocked out by people. Either way, you got to this place, Virgo, some of you guys, right? Where you were like, I just don't know who to trust. I don't know who I can be with. I don't know nothing. So I'm just gonna stand here. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my swords up. I'm gonna block shit out, right? And uh, that's what you guys did. Look at the Six of Cups showing up. There it is. Okay, so definitely a past life soulmate or someone you've known from childhood. 
But this for me is your guys' it's kindred spirits. It's the children. It's inner child. It's I feel good with you and you feel good with me. See? Inner child. The sun represents child energy too, you guys. So this is a soulmate or a twin flame, right? Who's coming in to your life very abruptly, very quickly, very out of nowhere. And they're ready for commitment. This is the one you commit to. This is the one you marry. You might have to move to be with this person or relocate. For some of you guys, I'm hearing this person. Ooh. Uh, maybe you could have worked with them in the past or something. I don't know. That's just like going to be random for some. This person feels out in the cold. This this offer right here, my loves, it, it quite literally, like if you've been feeling like kind of out in the cold, like that... It, it's like different. It's just, it changes everything. But what spirit is saying is for a lot of you, right before this will enter, you have to pull yourself out of this energy, my loves. You have to pull yourselves out of the, of the, the out in the cold wounded energy. Okay. Because that's what's coming here. All right. Now that could be your person. That could also be for your person and not you. So just take it as it resonates, right? Like it could be your person out in the cold, keeping themselves out in the cold. And they're the ones that have to stop acting that way in order right so you know it just just take it how it goes okay all right my lips okay so before i go i'm just gonna pull some um whoop. let's see what do i want to get what do i want to get for you guys let's do some romance angels how about that how about that loves all right so if this was your message my loves be sure to claim this energy as yours i mean for real claim it as yours like the video this is mine. This is my read. Yeah, hell yeah. You know? And if you're new here, my loves, be sure to subscribe if you resonate. Yeah, a lot of codependent energy that's you've been clinging to or or this is this is the purge. This is what I feel. You've released codependent energy, my loves. So you have freed up a lot of energetic space for like uh for the blessings to come through. And for some of you guys, that's what your guidance is here. Your inner guidance, your spirit guidance, right? That's what the message is for you guys today. There's something coming through for you that's destined for you. And it's going to make you very happy. And it could be love. It could be all the things, right? But for some of you guys, this is about pulling yourselves out of that energy. Yep. Release, release, release. See, I say, pull yourselves out. It says... The time has come to clear your energy and it says release your ex. Some of you guys just release somebody. Maybe you went through a breakup. Maybe you're releasing past baggage energy that's been holding on to you, right? From the past, lovers, relationships, people. You guys are just doing so much purging. That's what I felt. That's what I heard. Someone is, uh, first of all, you guys are expressing your truths. You're speaking your truths at this time to people. Okay, and someone wants to speak their truth to you. So there's this lover coming in, ready to express their love to you. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, basically someone's going to make a romantic gesture. And yeah, I was right, Virgos. This is for many of you guys, many, many, many of you guys. This Lionsgate portal and just all this energy and your the work you guys have done in your own lives and the healing and, you know, peeling back all the layers and especially this big last like release, whatever you guys released. I'm telling you, it brings forth the one. I knew it. Wedding. Okay. I also am getting Hieros Gamos. Okay. This is going to come through for the ones that it's meant for. But you guys had to come into inner union with your own masculine and your own inner feminine. Those had to be balanced out enough. Now you guys are receiving a match. Now you guys are receiving a match. This is going to be very open, expressive. This is not going to be someone you release. Spirit says it's because you're deserving, Virgo. You deserve it all, baby. You deserve it all. You're loving. You're kind. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're generous. Right? You care about people. You know, it's often the ones that are like that that get shit on. Right? Constantly shit on in life. Why do you think that is, my loves? Why? Because I've been one of those... I've been one of those, I'm a Libra, so I'm real like, I'm not passive, like I stuck up for myself, but when I was still in my like karmic energy, right? Like before my awakening and all that, and even through my awakening, I was still, right? Peeling back my own layers. And Lord knows we have a lot of work to do over here, right? With me, I mean, none of us are perfect. I'm still doing my own shadow work and my own things, right? But 
you guys like maybe for some struggled with feeling deserving of love of of relationships of money of wealth you know we're so conditioned to to think lack fear right everything ends everything there is not enough money everyone's broke i'm broke you know how am i gonna make right we, we are conditioned you guys are generational curse breakers you're yeah see forgiving and learning look at your ancestors you see that look at that they're like baby you are forgiven you don't you know the, the what you got to do there's nothing to forgive there's nothing to forgive what you guys need to do is forgive yourselves for allowing these things to happen and the reason why these things happen to good people, right? It's because you are a light worker. You're a star seed. They're your lessons. You chose it. You chose it, loves. Trust. It says the situation is calling for you to have faith. Absolutely. And then what's here on the bottom of the deck? Reconciliation. So someone from your past, past lives, or the past is coming in. This could be both. We have a lot of people showing up from the past right now. For sure. So there you go, my loves. You're about to be... Uh, in a in a union you're about to meet this person or you're about to reconcile with this person right this person wants to come in and be real i'm hearing the real deal so this is the real deal my loves all right okay i just heard october 11th so from this time through october 11th <laughs> i don't know that's what i heard though all right namaste love and light you guys if you want to book a personal psychic session with me you can find the info below um if you would like to order a handmade uh, Lemarian Seed Clear Quartz Crystal Tower Pendant, okay? Um, they're very powerful. If you connect with Lemuria, Atlantis, mermaids, um, dolphins, whales, the ocean, uh, if you resonate as a light worker or a star seed, okay, then I highly, highly, highly suggest my loves because um, I'm infusing them uh, for you personally, right? So like they won't be made, they, they aren't fulfilled until like you place your order. And then it's made right for you. So what I do is I infuse. My mom is making them for me. She's helping me. Thank you. Bless her. Um, she's doing all of this, right? I made this one, you guys. I made this one. Okay. All right. They're not meant to be perfect. I want them to look the way they do. Like, I want them to be like, right? So um, they're very powerful. And when I'm done charging them with everything I do, I infuse them with light language, Reiki, uh, I speak. There's a lot of stuff that goes into them. Let's just say that, okay? So they're powerful. They're charged up. They're not just a crystal. They're charged for you, specific to you, my loves. So if this is something you feel, you know, resonates with you, you can find the info below. So I love you guys. Namaste. Thank you for all of your subscriptions, your likes, your support, your comments, all the things. I adore you guys. You fill my fucking cup. You fill my cup. Mwah. I love you. Bye, guys.